What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush. Let's talk Jets. Hope everybody's having an excellent weekend. I can't believe Super Bowl Sunday is here already. These seasons fly by so fast. But a lot of a lot of excitement surrounding the Jets right now. Sauce Gardner and Garrett Wilson, Rookie of the Year. Klecko and Revis going into Canton. That Canton weekend is going to be amazing for the fans where you have the ceremony. The team is most likely playing in the game as well. So you can go there for a weekend from Friday to Monday and have a blast. But the news of the day, always with the Jets, is always the quarterback. But the news of the day is Derek Carr is going to free agency. There was a lot of negotiations with the Saints. But from, from Carr's perspective, his best thing to do is get released, be on the open market, and then get whatever contract he wants from the team he wants to go to. So the bidding war will begin, and it's going to be fascinating to see who, who, who gets him. Because you would think the Saints have the leg up when he has the relationship with the coach. But will a team come in and say, you know what, we will blow the Saints away with our offer? Could that be the Jets? Could that be the Panthers? Who will it be? Will the Jets be even in the market? So you add in the fact that while this is going on, so that happens on Wednesday, Thursday, Aaron Rodgers comes out of the darkness. He comes out of his four-day retreat, and there's rumors the Packers will be open to trading him. And there's a there's speculation today from Jeremy Fowler or a report the Jets have inquired about him. So it is going to heat up, and it's going to heat up fast. And now it's a matter of who do you want and how do the Jets as an organization handle it? Do they get really, really aggressive for Carr? And if Carr says, you know what, I really don't want to go there, they put more pressure on going after Rodgers. Do they consider giving up a draft ransom to try to get Lamar Jackson? Which, again, rumors again today where he could get franchised, but the Ravens could be open to trading him if they get the right offer. So there is so much going on right now. You got to try to decipher what is clickbait, what is speculation, what is actually true, and who's leaking what. Could it be the agents trying to, you know, drive up the asking price? And the one thing, there's two things you worry about with the Jets. You don't want to be used as leverage where they were with like a, a Kirk Cousins, and that's the first thing and foremost. And you don't want them out of desperation to go above and beyond and you know bid against themselves. And you know you may get the guy, but just spend way more than you have to and just you know overdo it. So. We'll see how this all plays out. It's going to be interesting. Everybody has their takes for, you know, the last two or three weeks. Everybody's talking about Aaron Rodgers. Now the Lamar Jackson thing's getting interesting because he's younger. You give up, say, three first-round picks. He's, what, 26 years old, and you have your guy for the next 10 years. Derek Carr, you know, a little bit older, but you have him for the next five years, or you have Aaron Rodgers for two years. So everybody has their opinion. I respect them all. I just want a quarterback. I want to win badly. So we'll see how it, we'll see what happens, and uh, we'll be live this week talking about it, and I'll talk to you later.